Oh, may fine and gold. Hello. Thank you so much for chatting with movieblogs.com. Well, thank you for inviting me. Now, we're obsessed with your song. Obsessed. Okay. <laughs> you come off as a very angry woman, kind of fighting your demons. Uh, yeah, I don't know if angry is the right term. Uh, there's a lot of passion in it. Somebody asked me before, are you this tough as you in the... I can be tough. <laughs> I can be tough, but uh, really when you deal with emotional matters like this song does it brings you to uh, you know inner places in you that wants to fight when you fight when you fight aren't you uh, aren't you a bit more aggressive Fierce. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet man. No, thank you <laughs> Are you thinking of any like instances in your life when you sing? Um, when I heard the song for the first time and I listened to the lyrics, what I do every time I perform the song, and I've heard the song hundreds of times, and I performed it a lot of times, I always think what I sing about while I sing it. Doesn't matter where I am and what I do. And I always relate it to a certain story in my life or to a certain energy or a, an experience that I've had. So yes. So yes. <laughs> and can you give us any details? About? Uh, what you're, the instance you're thinking of? No, actually, I can give you more uh, of a general, general situation. I, I fought many fights in my life to come through some rough times in my personal life and in my career as well. Nothing is always uh, pink and, uh, and wonderful and perfect. I've been through many fights and I overcome that. Today, I sit here a complete person and I feel a winner in my own life. I don't, I, I don't need a competition. The competition, the real competition in life is with yourself, to improve yourself, to be a better yourself and not to let demons yeah, to, uh, to drag you down and just be fierce, be powerful, be proud at yourself and who you are and just walk straight forward and that is what Same Heart is representing in, in my life and in my eyes and the choreography on stage uh, brings it to life. Yeah, we do a uh, strut and we do a lot of, uh, you know, very strong physical moves that help me uh, feel the true meaning of same heart. Is it hard for you to sing when you're on your back in the show? Uh, it is, it's not difficult. Um, I, actually, it's, it's something we changed. Uh, I know you saw it on uh, the first rehearsal, but uh, shooting-wise, it didn't work out for us. So it's, there's going to be a different move there. Uh, it's not going to be the lying down. It's it's going to be it's going to be similar. But uh, singing-wise, no, I'm you know I have a singing technique. I, I sing through my stomach and I hold the air in, and it helps me. It helps me put out uh, a voice. And, you know, I've been singing since I was born, so, so I've taught myself many, many techniques that help me to sing when I lie down, when I lie on my face, when I'm with my head down, I can sing. <laughs> and two years ago, you pushed out a baby. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's also a term you can, <laughs> you can use. Has motherhood changed you as a musician? Uh, it changed me in every aspect. Uh, when, I, when I was pregnant for the first time, I said, it's not going to change me. Yeah, I'm still going to be the same person I am, just have a baby. And as soon as she, the, the, the second she came out, uh, which, which was an amazing night, I'll tell you some other time, it came off a big massive show. I was warming up Roxette uh, in Tel Aviv in front of 15,000 uh, 15, people. And from there I went to the hospital and gave birth to Emily. It was an amazing night. And with all the adrenaline rush and everything that's been going on, she came out and everything was different. Um, I'm so whole. I'm so calm. I know my place in life. My place in life is my daughter, is being a mother to her. She's the most important thing in the world. And everything else 
got immediately a different proportion. And it's it's everything that, that that's happening good in my life is <clears throat> it's like a gift. It's an extra to the major gift I have, which is my daughter. I love her more than anything in the world. It changed me completely. Completely. And a final question for you. Yeah. We just saw your new music video for Same Heart um, about Elliot. Elliot? The city. A lot. A, a lot. lot. You should go and visit there. Uh, yeah. What's it like? Uh, it's amazing. I lived there for seven years. Oh, okay. Yeah, I lived there for seven years. I had, uh, I had a very uh, profound time there. I, just, I grew up there. Uh, I, had, I had my first business there. And, uh, and uh, I think it's uh, one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. And, uh, and the video clip was a sponsorship video. Yeah, obviously, everyone does. If Madonna can do it, we can all do it. Um, and we wanted to uh, show the city. We wanted to show its beauty. It was very important to me as uh, someone that used to live there and love the city. And we just uh, went there for one day and we shot for nine or ten hours straight. Straight. We were so excited about everything. We just shot and shot and shot and we edited in one day and had to release it because we had a flight to Copenhagen. So I'm very proud of what we did in such a short amount of time. The video clip was made in 48 hours. It was amazing and obviously I need to thank uh, my husband, Leon Nordman, that uh, directed it and photographed it. Also the Same Heart original video and the two others that were released uh, in Israel. Oh, May Feingold, thank you so much. Thank you. You're in demand. I love you guys. Oh, we love you. Mazel tov. <laughs> thank you.